Let's get some thoughts from geopolitical expert William Engdahl joining us now live. William, hi there. Thanks for coming on at short notice. It's Kevin here you're talking to. Obama's promised to eradicate the extremist ideology. Um, do you believe the US military campaign will help towards this end, though? Well, I think there's a schizophrenia in Washington in the last days. I've been following this rather closely. I think the uh, ISIS is really a false flag operation. All evidence points to CIA, Israeli intelligence, creating ISIS in order to provide the pretext for the war uh, inside Syria and Iraq, but mainly Syria, to get rid of Bashar al-Assad. I think there's a shift in the last few days of the Obama administration, and I believe, this is a hypothesis, that uh, Putin is playing a personal mediating role, as he did last August 2013, in defusing the uh, launch of war by the U.S. Uh, against Bashar. Let me just get this straight. Let me just get this straight, because a lot of our viewers around the world are, are, are going to be going, what, conspiracy theorists? That's not how they're going to see this. You say ISIS is basically uh, something that's been made for America, America to go in a, and attack Saddam Hussein, yes, eventually. Yes, that's what I'm saying. The, they, the uh, jihadists have been trained in secret uh, CIA and U.S. Special Forces bases inside Turkey and inside Jordan over the past year. Obama uh, administration refused to give military help when, when al-Maliki's government in Iraq was begging for it more than a year ago. And then when, when ISIS uh, makes this horrendous military victory, and if you look at the personnel, the commanders, they're from Chechnya, they're... they're uh, it's an extremely dubious collection. Al-Baghdadi, some people uh, say that's a manufactured name. Mm -hmm. uh, so the, the, the whole thing really stinks, the, the whole ISIS scare. And I think that is someone's well, it, concoction it, to well, provide a pretext for military intervention. But of course, on the ground, it's more than a scare if you're um, in the path of these guys. You've seen yeah, so yeah. many people killed. Now, he's yeah. just seen uh, uh, thousands, thousands fleeing from them. Now, he's just seen another hostage video putting more fear into more people. This French guy now that uh, appears to have been Beheaded. Yeah. Well, um, the that, hostage that video videos are another subject. I, I'm not convinced they're, uh, they're accurate at all, but uh, that's another subject. Well, nevertheless, our thoughts, of course, to that guy's family tonight. Um, can we expect yes, the US-led anti-ISIS uh, coalition to turn its weapons against Syria's uh, Bashar al-Assad any time soon, then? On your reasoning, I guess we will, yeah? Well, the neoconservatives, the neocons around the Obama administration devoutly hope and pray that that will be the case, that this will be their excuse to launch the war against uh, al-Assad al that they've been hoping for for two and a half years now. Uh, there are indications that factions within the U.S. military senior command uh, are not uh, going to allow that to happen. And there's a, I, I think there's an intense faction fight inside the Obama administration. There are hints of that in the last two or three days. William, we know you've got your ear to the ground. That's why we have you on the programme. I know a lot of uh, viewers maybe might not see it the way you do, but it's very good and interesting to get your take on it. Certainly is a, a, an eye-opener to think about it, if nothing less. Uh, thanks very, very much for now, William Engdahl, geopolitical analyst.